All right, I'm Nick. Today, we're gonna talk about a new transducer mount for this Garmin dual beam. Now, this is a really weird transducer. It's super common. Comes with the Striker 4, which is a super popular fish finder. In the past, we designed this transducer mount, which allowed you to mount it like this to the universal mount on the transducer plate for the Old Town kayaks and new models. But we had to go and we had to make this groove right here. And it kind of made this part weak. And we had a few guys break them. Not a lot of people, but we had a few guys break them. I'm talking five or six people. And that's a pretty small number. And it has a lifetime warranty, so that's no big deal. But I was never really a fan of it. It was a, a good solution for the short term, but I felt like it should be better. And if you guys know me, my goal every single day is to find a way to make the products better uh, for you guys, for me, for everybody. It doesn't matter what it is. I just feel like it should be as good as it could be, right? Uh, sometimes those solutions take time to think about, come up with a better plan. So the other day, I finally sat down. A gentleman named Nathan was nice enough to bring me this transducer down from Milton, which is awesome. It is a lot easier to work on stuff when you have it in your hand. However, it's not smart for me to go out and buy every transducer that's ever been made, right? So he was nice enough to bring it down. Uh, he had been using one of these for a while. He actually uh, was unloading or loading his kayak and it slipped and it broke this off, right? It broke one of these pieces and needed another one. And I was like, hey, if you could bring me the transducer, I finally think I have the idea to make it work. Now, here it is. This is the new Garmin Dual Beam scupper mount. Now this will work on any kite that has a scupper, right? So it'll work all over the place. But what we did was, this is our normal setup that you guys have seen in a bunch of different videos. The top part is what holds it in place. The wing nut allows you to tighten this down and secure it where you want it. So let's move that out of the way. And I'll show you guys some pictures of it installed. Uh, it didn't rain all afternoon. I didn't feel like going outside and getting rained on to film me installing it. Obviously I installed it to check. Uh, what we did was, and it'll come with all this hardware, it'll come with this through bolt right here, which is gonna allow you to mount that. And I'll show you in a second. Everything is stainless steel. It has a wing nut right here. Now this wing nut, I could have put a regular nut on here, but I wanted you guys to be able to take this off if you ever needed to, which you probably won't ever have to, but just in case. So this bolt goes in here, which you guys can probably see if you look close, it goes in there. Then this piece kind of comes down like a door, closes it off. This will spin down, tightens in place. And all that does is hold the bolt into this apparatus. Now remember the goal is this had to be small enough to fit in the scupper. So it took me a little while to come up with a plan that I was happy about and a way I could make it work without any issues. And then obviously this is round, it has a hole in it and this bolt goes through there like so. So then you just line this up, super easy. Just bolt goes through, can't get it in the hole. Bolt goes through, and then you have a nylock nut. You just put this bad boy on here, and you tighten it down. Now, um, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, 3 8 inch wrench, that's loud. And then you'll be able to tighten this down and secure it at a 90 degree angle. Um, you know, one of the questions I get a lot of times, and it could be a lot tighter than that, okay? You don't want it to be too tight. Reason being is if you drop this on an oyster bar, you want this to move a little, okay? If it doesn't have any kind of wiggle to it, when you hit that, all the weight of your kayak sitting on there. Now it'll be up in there far enough that it's underneath the bottom of the kayak and you'll be able to see it in these pictures in a second that you don't have any issues. But don't tighten, that, don't tighten it down too much. You're just gonna cause a problem somewhere, right? A little bit of movement's not a bad thing. That way after you get unstuck, you could fix it later in the day instead of just breaking this transducer or breaking anything else. But super easy solution. That guy comes in place super easy. Then this guy goes on top, tighten it down, and you are good to go. Nothing to it. All right, so that is that. Here are some pictures. You can see it on the bottom. 
The red kayak right here is a 2018, so that scupper mount will work for the Garmin dual beam on the old style transducer hole. The brown kayak you can see here, that is a 2020 Predator PDO, which is the same hole design as a Sportsman Big Water 132 PDL. It'll work on your top waters. It'll work everywhere any of the other scupper mounts works. And it'll be up there flush out of the way. The bottom of the kayak is actually lower than the mount, so you won't have any issues with that. If you guys do have any questions, let me know, and we will uh, get those answered. You can email me. You can leave a comment below. Uh, we did have a giveaway in the last video, and I will announce that the winner in the next video. I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, as long as you guys continue to watch and purchase these items and make suggestions, I will do my best to continue to make them better and we will continue producing them. And I greatly appreciate all of your guys' support. And that's that. Garmin Dual Beam Scupper Mount. We'll work on just about any kite that has a scupper. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.